Domain adaptation is a common solution to insufficient training data in niche topics, such as scientific domains. This involves updating a pre-trained model with a smaller set of domain-specific data. Jose is an interesting embedding model from 2019 which we would like to use with domain adaptation. However, two of its features inhibit this. The first, the embeddings are restricted to the hypersphere, which appears to result in a non-convergent spinning of the embedding space during training. The second, document embeddings are included via the loss function, which, along with the word embeddings that only appear in the original corpus, fall out of date during domain adaptation. Our main contribution in this work is to present two update techniques for these vectors, which are shown to improve domain adaptation results. The first technique compresses the document into a weighted bag of keywords representation, and this is included in the loss function, so the original document vectors continue to be updated. This has the advantage that terms that do not appear in the domain corpus, but are keywords to the original documents, are also updated. However, this method has computational and memory costs associated with it. The second technique constructs each document vector as an average of word vectors. While this sidesteps the explicit need to update the document vectors, it retains the important pooling property of this feature. That is, the document vector term becomes like a document-wide context for each word. And, of course, document vectors can be reconstructed post hoc from the most up-to-date word vectors. As well as three publicly available datasets, these update methods were tested on two datasets of scientific literature collected for the study. For comparison, results are presented for word to vec and the original Jose model, trained on all the data as a rough upper bound, and trained using domain adaptation as a reference. The word to vec maintains its performance using domain adaptation, dropping an average of less than 1%, whereas the Jose performance collapses with an average drop of 12%. Using our update strategies, we see that this performance drop is considerably diminished, with the construction approach seeing a drop of only 2%, similar to the word to vec model. This shows that our techniques are able to reduce the cost of domain adaptation to a level equivalent to word to vec These competitive results unlock the Jose model for domain adaptation applications.